Hi, how are you doing? How's everybody doing out there? How is it going, guys? Hey, what's up, Bradley? How's it going? Hope you're well. I'm good too. What about you, Kevin? I'm super busy with uh, several uh, of my Amazon businesses. I've got two brand new ones that are uh, nothing much to uh, be proud of there. Thank goodness. L let's take a step back. Why should we even be listening to you? Oh, uh, Bradley, I think you might not know him, but it's Kevin. Mr. Casual. My bad. I woke up like 15 minutes ago because I knew I'm going to be awake for 16 hours. So give me a little bit of time to, to, to get uh, situated here. Bradley, I think you need to focus. Uh, is there something you would like to ask us? Um, my goodness, it got cold all of a sudden in my house. I, I got Alexa, turn off AC. Bradley, stop talking to your dog. <laughs> anyway, uh, Kevin, Kevin, are you still there? Sorry about that. My, my housekeeper just showed up and I uh, didn't have a key to get in. Guys, let's focus. This is our last day of the course, so let's wrap it up. So guys, this is the last day of the sourcing course and today we would like to demonstrate you how Helium 10 now integrates with Alibaba and Lisette will show you how to use it. So Lisette, take it away. Okay, let's go. So what Helium 10 did, they created a new tool called Alibaba Supplier Finder. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. I want to do this while we're, we're, we're talking. I'm going to open it up on my computer so I can, I can picture this because I, I haven't done this. So I'm just here on Alibaba.com. And let's say... Um, no, Bradley, uh, although the tool itself is called Alibaba Supplier Finder, you do not need to go to Alibaba website. That's the whole point. So let uh, Lisette explain you further. Thank you, Augustus. So I'm about to show you a new tool that Helium 10 created called Alibaba Supplier Finder. It will help uh, all of you to achieve better workflow uh, when you're doing your product research, but also when you're starting to source your products. Usually when you start with your product research, you might have some idea to uh, start looking for in Amazon. So for example, uh, I will type in orange clock and I will see what kind of products I have because let's say I would like to start selling one myself. So I see all those different sellers here. Um, usually the first question during product research is that how much would it cost to uh, manufacture one of the, these items? So I open up X-Ray and then on the right side, you see the new button that hasn't been there before, which is called source on alibaba.com. So I click on that and another pop-up comes up, which is the new tool uh, we are going to uh, show you today. All right, there we go, guys. Um, so far, I, I think uh, this is unprecedented. Exactly, Bradley. That's why I am so excited about it. So let's get now into the details. Uh, as we now open the Alibaba Supplier Finder, we can basically do two things at the same time. We can do product research, but we can also look for a supplier uh, to already learn the cost of uh, manufacturing the product we want. So with a few clicks, we get pre-filtered results here, uh, which means these uh, results are already considering the star rating of the suppliers, but also the search term we are using. Now your job is to filter out all the junk suppliers and get to the real suppliers. And ah, the so so like, how, how's the algorithm working here? Like, like, do people have hashtags in their their bio or something? The suppliers or, or how is? No, Bradley, they don't have hashtags in their bio. The way it works is that the system takes the phrase I first entered to Amazon, which is orange clock, and displays me all the suppliers who have exactly the same phrase in their product title, in addition to the rating I explained before. So let's go now to the filters. We have the price filter. Uh, next up, we have the minimum order quantity filter. And we also have a filter for when the rating, if you would like to use them. In uh, advanced filters, we have the filter for supplier country. Uh, we can choose also the vendor type, uh, as you can see, and also the age of the supplier account. Uh, after you have chosen your filters, just hit apply and you will see how many different suppliers you have now. And you can see also all the main information regarding to each supplier straight away from the pop-up uh, without even going to alibaba.com. Uh, if you want to clear out all the filters, just hit clear. 
But if you would like to open them up in Alibaba, then just click on the product image or the product title and you can see more images. Or if you click on uh, the load more results, it will give you more results directly in this tool. But you can also choose to view more on Alibaba.com, so it will open the search uh, on Alibaba's page with the exact same filters you first chose uh, in Helium 10 extension. Okay, and then now you're gonna have like a lot less suppliers, right? Exactly, that's the point of filters. Kian, do you know what does a verified supplier mean? So a verified supplier is like, um, if they say they have 50 sewing machines in their factory, that and a third party company has actually gone in and verified that there are 50 sewing machines. Or if they say they have like 200 workers in the factory, it's been verified that there are 200 workers. So for any search for suppliers, you should always click verified. And then after All right, I just did that for this. It went from 681, now only 164. So that really, just that by itself narrowed it down. So guys, I really hope that by showing you this tool so quickly, you understand its real power and how it will help you to speed up the process for both for product research, but also for uh, finding a perfect supplier. So I wanted to give you one uh, last additional tip uh, to use the information you can get from Alibaba Supplier Finder. So once you know the estimated price uh, of your product uh, or your product idea, then open Amazon again, uh, click on the Chrome extension and instead of X-Ray, open Profitability Calculator and type in the unit cost so you can make all those different calculations in order to know if uh, selling this product will be a good idea or if it will not be a good idea at all. This is great, great, great uh, tips uh, throughout this episode and especially that one. I think there's a lot of really cool stuff in store, especially for you guys that are just starting out. Uh, I know I've learned some, some things already. So students, we are now finished with the course. Do you have any other questions before we finish today's meeting? Hey, how much money do I need to invest into my first product? Do I need $1,000? Do I need 5000 Hey, I don't have $5,000. What do I do? I would not start with less than 5000 my most recent company started with 1.1 million. So Kian, what do you think about the Alibaba Supplier Finder? We're the best product on the market for this. Kevin, your thoughts? It's very difficult. Don't worry, Kevin. It will all make sense soon. What, what does that even mean? What are we talking about? Man, this is getting really, really exciting, but I'm just still not exactly 100% sure where is this coming from? Like, Calm down, Bradley. I feel you're a little bit stressed out. Just try to do exactly how Lisette just showed you step by step. And you will see how simple it is when you do it yourself. Let me see if I can figure this out. All right. I'm going to click here. Here it is. All right. Let's see if we can do this. Here we go. I just wrote you a coupon code in the chat, which is orange 10. This will give you 10% off your subscription plans with the Helium 10. Or you can use a orange 50 coupon code to get 50% off your first month. So this will save you some money. You guys are awesome. Thank you. So that's it, guys. Good luck with finding the best suppliers using the Helium 10 Alibaba Supplier Finder. Pleasure. Thank you very much for having me and hopefully see you again soon. Take care. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye. Yeah. Thanks God, it's over. These are definitely not the brightest students at all. I thought it will never end. Well, at the end of the day, Amazon is not for everyone. Maybe one day they will become top sellers in the industry. You can never know. Yeah, I doubt it. Anyway, ladies, well done. Thank you very much and bye bye. 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 Hey, thank you for watching this video. We were working on it day and night, the whole week um, doing extensive research of clips and complex video editing. And uh, also just before I continue, I would like to remind you that all the links to Helium 10's software you will find below in the description, also the coupon codes which you can use if you want to sign up and become their customer. But for this specific video, I would like to express gratitude to our team members, co-host Lisette and also invisible team member Yeva, which did a lot of research finding all the needed material for this movie. And also a big, big thanks to our actors, Kevin, Bradley and Kian. Thank you guys for talking a lot, great stuff.
And actually, like in the real Hollywood movies, we have some scenes which we didn't include in the main uh, video, this video. So we would like to invite you now to watch other video which will have all the takeouts and things we decided that they are, should go to the second clip. So check this out to have some additional fun.